Hi, so we're back in VexCode VR and we're gonna take a look at uh, using what's called a loop. Okay, so we're gonna get loopy here. Um, so uh, let's take a look at the code we have. So if you don't have this code already done, um, remember that you can save code, right? So you can go to file, uh, save to your device, right? You can save that code um, and, uh, and then you can open it back up later on. You can save to the computer and then say you wanna, let's say that, um, so I saved this before. Let's say that now I do a new, you know, I come in, I don't have anything, like I come in later, right? Um, what I can do is I can actually go to file and then uh, load from your device. So if I saved it before, I can go load from device and then I can go back in and, and open that file. So .vr blocks, that's the name of the file. You might you probably wanna name it something different, but if I go ahead and click open, notice that then I can open it back up from my computer. Okay, so, so let's get onto our loops here. So we have, if you don't have this saved, go ahead and pause the video and recreate this here. So just you know, look for the blocks, you know, change everything back in. It should look exactly like this. Okay, so let's go ahead and click start and let's take a look at how this is working. So we're gonna do our overhead camera. So notice we have a, a, a easy program here where the robot uh, draws a simple shape, a square, and uh, changes the uh, color each time it moves. So each time it, for each side of the square, okay? So this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna take care of drawing the square, um, but the, uh, the pen is going to stay the same color the entire time. So, uh, and then we're gonna take care of that in the next video. <laughs> so, okay, so here we go. So basically let's talk about a loop. So what is a loop? A loop, um, if we go down to control, okay, we can see that we have a couple of loops. We have a repeat a number of times, and then we have a forever loop, okay? We also have a repeat until, and we have a while loop, okay? So, so for this one, we're gonna stick with, you know, those are kind of four different types of loops. So one, repeat 10 times, means we repeat some set of blocks a set number of times. In this case, we're gonna repeat this, this four times, okay, which you'll see in just a couple minutes. We also can have a loop that just keeps going. It just repeats forever, you know, it just keeps going and going. Say we want, if we want to draw something again and again, uh, we could repeat it forever. Um, we also have a repeat until and while, okay? So repeat until, that would use a, um, um, uh, well, we'll go into those later. Uh, so, so for now, for our first loop, we're just going to go ahead and use the repeat uh, some number of times, all right? So let's take a look at our code. So we set drive velocity to 500%. We move the pen up and we move over to where we want to draw the square, right? Then we put the pen down. All right, so that's kind of our first, our first set of things there. So up to that point, there's really no repetition, right? So, so we're, a loop, remember, is just us repeating things. So a loop is literally telling the computer or the robot in this case to repeat things. So, so what we should look for is we should look for parts of our code that repeat, right? So if we, if we write something and it looks like we're doing the same thing again and again, that is a place where we can use a loop. Um, okay, so here we go. So we, we go down, we put the pen down, right? There, there it is. Then we have these blocks of code. Now we start drawing the square, right? So these are our blocks of code um, that repeat. So if we take a look at each one of these, notice that we, and I'm gonna remove stop driving here at the end. So notice that we set the pen down or we set the pen color, we drive forward some amount, some distance, and then we turn left, right? 90 degrees. And each time we do this, we set the pen a different color, we drive forward, we turn left, set the pen a different color, drive forward, turn left, set a pen a different color, drive forward, turn left. And we do this four times, okay? All right, so this is a perfect place for a loop. So let's say, let's go ahead and rather than using four copies of this same code, we're gonna use one copy, but we're going to put it into a loop, okay? So we're gonna drag our loop over, repeat 10 times. Okay, we're gonna change the number of repetitions to four, okay? And then we're gonna drag our block of code back inside of the loop. So notice now our, our code is now inside of the loop. Okay, then we're gonna go ahead and drag up, all right? 
Okay, now this code, we can just leave it over here because it's not because it's not connected to when started, it just will never run, or we can just go ahead and delete it. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete it. I'm clicking each of the blocks and then, uh, and then delete them. We could also take one block, see how I can take the whole thing and then drag it back over to the library. And that's a good way to get rid of a lot of it at one time. Okay, let's go ahead and expand it. And so we'll take a look at what's going to happen with our code. So we're gonna you know, change our drive velocity, put the pen up, we drive to our starting point, we put the pen down, and then we start to draw our, our, uh, our square. We set the pen color to black, drive forward and turn. You know, we go back, we're gonna, we're gonna go back to the top. That's our first time, right? We set the pen color, drive forward, turn left. We go up to the top. We've completed our second run at that point. Set the pen color to black, drive forward, turn left. We go back up to the top. That's our third time. Now on our fourth time, we set the pen color to black, drive forward, turn left 90 degrees. And then we go back up and, and it checks. It says, hey, have you done this four times? And yep, the answer comes back. Yes, we've done it four times. So the program says, okay, well, you've done it four times. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go after the go to the next line after the loop. And that's it, it just continues, okay? So in this case, we'll just stop driving. Okay, so let's go ahead and start run our code. So we're gonna go ahead and click start and expand. And don't worry, we'll run it again and change our over to our overhead of view. Okay, let's go ahead and run that again. So we're gonna reload it, change it to our overhead view, and let's go ahead and click start. Okay, so here we are, we're getting to our starting point. Pen goes down, that's our first repetition. Second repetition, third repetition, fourth repetition. And our loop ends and it stops driving. Okay, so there's our first loop. Um, best of luck, uh, give it a shot on getting loopy.